The catamaran floating grab dredger designed by Rohrbagger has the biggest underwater rope grab system worldwide for the extraction of sand and gravel. The catamaran type floating grab dredger has a carrying capacity of 45 mega pounds. It is equipped with a rope grab of 13.5 cubic meters and with a frequency controlled hoisting gear with motors of 380 kilowatts each. The installation is designed for a maximum dredging depth of 120 meters. Below water, the full grab is lifted at 115 meters per minute and it is lowered at 190 meters per minute. The pontoons consist of two individual floaters with a length of 35 meters and a width of 4.4 meters. The clear width between these pontoons measures 22 meters. The extraction of sand and gravel and the barge loading takes place in between. The dredge is designed for a future extension with a complete processing plant consisting of screening machines, fine sand recovery installation, oversized grid and hopper. The hoisting gear is mounted onto the trolley frame. The trolley travel gear runs on four carrying wheels with spur wheel flanges. It is driven by four motors which are arranged on the outside for good accessibility and ease of service. The trolley is equipped with a steel construction on four sides and on top made of trapezoidal corrugated plates. It serves as weather protection. The hoisting gear consists of two frequency controlled AC motors of 380 kilowatts each, two rope drums, two disc brakes, two helical gears and four special dredging cables of 36 millimeters diameter. The cabin has a space of 3 by 3 meters and is equipped with electrically driven external blinds made of aluminium as protection against vandalism. The floating catamaran grab dredge is equipped with two 20-foot containers. One of them houses the 1,250 kilovolt ampere cast resin transformer. The second contains the electrical switch and control unit. The Kruger rope grab has a dead weight of nearly 17 tons. Four ropes carry and control the grab. Eleven teeth grab the material. The GPS system installed provides a basis for monitoring where the dredge actually is and where the material has been excavated. It allows easy control of the dredging depth and degree of excavation. The display shows data on the slope of cutting as well as the borders of the digging area as a bird's eye view or in profile section. In addition, the GPS has a dredge sonar system which works with a synchronous motor driven sonar head. It scans the seabed below the dredge and does so in a radius of approximately two times the dredging depth. The digital data is displayed in the form of relief pictures, isoline maps on the computer's display unit. This installation also uses the comprehensive dredging and loading automation designed and developed by Rohr. The concept was to have the barge loading and unloading done by only one person. In order to have the barges loaded fully automatically and safely, they were equipped with a comprehensive sensor technology. The barge's immersion is permanently monitored by four pressure probes. An inclinometer controls its inclination in longitudinal and lateral axis. The distance from barge to the dredge's pontoons is captured by ultra sensors. Taking these figures into account, the position of the trolley is controlled in a way that always allows for a central grab unloading into the barge. 
At the same time, the barge is automatically hauled and thus is evenly loaded in the longitudinal direction as well. The barges are interlinked with the dredge's free programmable control by means of a permanent radar contact. Should this contact be interrupted, the automatic barge loading would be stopped immediately for safety reasons. A touch panel installed in the barge driver's cabin keeps the driver permanently informed on the processes on the floating grab dredge and, if necessary, he can intervene from the barge. The touch panel permanently displays the barge's floating situation and it offers the possibility of having both ships controlled from each one of the barges. After the barge has cast off, the barge driver starts the automatic loading process of the second barge. The material is shipped to another raw floating grab dredge where it is processed. When the empty barge has returned, the loading process is stopped. The driver docks the barge and restarts the loading.